Welcome to the live streaming of the Holy Mass from the Redemptus Media Center. Let us pray for the following intentions during this sacred celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, good morning and welcome to this Eucharist. Today, the 30th of June, is a special day for us Redemptress. For we remember our own blessed Gennaro Maria Sarnelli who lived at the time of St. Alphonsus, our founder, from around the same place in Chiorani, and who was very much involved in the ministry. His love, especially for the broken, the weak, the marginalized in the society, makes a big difference. He could not see a person in need and remain to himself. Isn't that a beautiful Christian virtue? Aren't we all called to do so? For the times we failed, we asked the Lord pardon. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, you have chosen your priest, Blessed Gennaro Maria, to show forth your love for the suffering through preaching and good works. Grant that animated by your love, we may follow his example in giving ourselves generously, taking to heart those in need. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voice together. They sing for joy, for in plain sight, 
they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, your ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has barred his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. Come, let us sing to the Lord. It is he who saves us. Come, let us sing to the Lord. It is he who saves us. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Come, let us sing to the Lord. It is he who saves us. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. Come, let us sing to the Lord. It is he who saves us. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Come, let us sing to the Lord. It is he who saves us. Kindly rise for the gospel. Abide in me as I abide in you, says the Lord. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Each branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burnt. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciple. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, it is a joy to speak about inspiring lives of Redemptress and all the more about those who have reached the heights of sanctity in the Church. And Blessed Gennaro Sarnelli is one of those. A contemporary of St. Alphonsus, in fact, one of his early companions in mission, Gennaro Sarnelli was certainly an inspiration by his life and his words, his preaching as well. Well, he too was highly educated, came from a wealthy family, the son of the Baron of Chiorani, very much similar to St. Alphonsus. He too had a very strong and solid cultural and spiritual formation. In fact, he gained a doctorate in canon and civil law by the age of 20. Quite a young age for a feat. 
St. Alphonsus did it much younger. He had a special love for the marginalized. He used to often visit the hospital of the incurables and help people in their journey of ailment and in their last days of their life. It is there that he met St. Alphonsus, who was also visiting to minister to people, and they developed a bond, and later he ja joined in the same band which St. Alphonsus founded. A few things that stand out from the life of Sarneli are these. First, his love for children and catechesis which he started. He gathered children and taught them faith. He believed that helping children at that young age, sowing the seed of faith, will certainly help them be better people in the society in the future. That is his first big contribution to catechesis. And the second was uh, these port cities of Naples and the coast further down was highly prone to prostitution and Sarnelli reached out to women who were caught in this difficult situation of life. He even ministered to women who were much younger who had the tendency to fall into this net into human trafficking and he helped them come out of the situation by means of, of uh, social work by providing them alternate areas of work and also catechizing them in faith. He was a strong son of the teachings of Jesus. And the third important area of work that Sadneli was involved in was lay partnership. We speak a lot about that today in the redemptress world, but Sarneli started it well at the beginning itself. How much can a man work with all that he does? He experienced an early burnout. He didn't survive too long. At the age of 42, he died of exhaustion. A very short and young age, a big heartbreak for St. Alphonsus, who turned out to be his first biographer, and yet so much inspiring, so much that he did in his age that makes him stand out. We have a blessed in the church. His contribution to the Redemptorist world was not just him being a Redemptorist, but the first Redemptorist house that we have in Shirani was the house of Sarneli. Dear friends, in the gospel we heard Jesus telling, Abide in me. I am the true wine and you the branches. Abide in me. Certainly Sarneli was one who abided in the Lord. Certainly Sarneli was one who drew his inspiration from Jesus, who had that deep love that made him, that could not help him contain his faith, but reach out in social work and also reach out in writing. A number of books that he wrote, 30 books that he wrote in his short period of life, short span of life. The world redeemed, human redeemed, the church redeemed, the world transformed. So many books that he wrote in a very short span of life. He challenges us as Christians to get disturbed by the broken lives of people in our society. He challenges us to not be comfortable when we see someone suffering in need, a victim of the injustices of the society, and to do some small act, the first step to get out of our comfort zones and to reach out, starting from our own neighborhood, starting from people who interact in our lives and going beyond if the Lord helps us. We pray that the intercession of Sarneli, that the blessing of our Holy Father St. Alphonsus may help us in this missionary journey. Amen.
sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church O Lord sanctify these gifts which we offer you in memory of blessed Gennaro Maria Sarnelli transform them for us into the sacrament of salvation so that as we draw near to you to your altar we may be freed from every sin and may share in the banquet of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through the witness of faith of blessed Gennaro Maria Sarnelli, you renew your church with the creative power of your spirit, and you give us a sure sign of your love. His example and his intercession sustain us in the pilgrimage of life, so that the mystery of your salvation may be fulfilled in us. United with the angels and saints, we sing with joy the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, and entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Alphonsus, Jared, Clement, Neumann, Blessed Gennaro Sarnelli, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and taught by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Have Amen. mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord our God, this sharing in your sacraments nurtures in us the faith which has been passed on to us by the Apostles and which Blessed Gennaro Maria Sarnelli served with loving dedication. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, a reminder that today, after our rosary at 7 p.m., we have a new episode of our Youth Faith Podcast, Heart Rock Cafe, which goes live soon after the rosary at 7.30. To catch up with this new episode, it's about, can you be spiritual without being religious? An interesting conversation, which we have broken up into three parts. The first part goes up this evening, so don't miss that. And do join us for the rosary too at 7 p.m. Now for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Go, the boss is in bed.